gravity, according to Einstein, is not only an attractive force. Newton thought it was only attractive, pulls things together. These guys realized, amplifying Einstein's insight, that if there's a kind of energy suffusing space, it can give rise to a repulsive gravity, an outward pushing gravity that can cause the universe, in some sense, to fly apart, to be pushed apart, to give the bang in the Big Bang. So the picture that you come to in a framework called inflationary cosmology that we will discuss in just a moment is there's a little tiny nugget, that little bright area on the left-hand side, a little tiny nugget of space gets filled with this energy, gives rise to this incredible outward push causing the universe to expand and carry on in the expansion as we witness today. That's inflationary cosmology. Now the one thing that I want to call out here, because the key thing that I hope that you'll take home tonight is cosmology is not a bunch of theoretical ideas that people just posit and hope that they're right or wrong. It's become a quantitative science. So the most quantitative way of understanding, of convincing yourself that this is true, comes from an understanding of, again, heat left over from the Big Bang in the following sense. When the universe is very tiny, there is a feature of quantum physics. You don't need to know much about quantum physics, but quantum physics says that there's always a certain amount of uncertainty and a certain amount of fluctuating behavior happening. And that would happen at the far left when the universe is really tiny. But when the universe expands, the jitters of quantum mechanics get stretched out. And when they get stretched out, they give rise to hot spots and cold spots in the sky. Tiny temperature differences, not much. One part in 1,000, one part in 10,000 or so. But these tiny temperature differences in principle can be measured. And let me just focus in. If you see the green and yellow, those are indicating different temperatures. I actually did it in blue and red here, but it's the same thing. These are hot spots and cold spots generated by quantum fluctuations in the early universe. And the idea is that if you have a device, a satellite over there, it can measure those hot and cold spots. The light travels to the satellite. And let me just show you in a final little convincing piece of data what you find. Here is the theoretical curve coming from quantum physics and inflationary cosmology. Here is the data. And I will just sit back and let it go. Now, this is data that was set down 13 and a half billion years ago. This curve is generated by us humans 13 and a half billion years later, and the data and the curve match to fantastic precision. Were you to ask me what the most beautiful picture that our civilization has produced? Yeah, I mean, certain things do come to mind, you know, Starry Night, uh, Mona Lisa. This would rank for me among those. That's how spectacular this picture is, this agreement between theory and experiment. And